Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing of Remodel Railway. In the third episode of the RM74 series, I'm going to start to look at drawing the cab end. So looking at the this end on the here and potentially getting onto this section behind it, which I think is either electrical boxes or the engine. So yeah, we're going to start work from this end. So looking at view, if we turn the, the side profile plan on, um, we're going to have obviously the, the sketch we can work from or the scale plan we can work from here. Um, unfortunately with this this plan it's not the greatest because it looks like the road looks curved on here and looking at the photos it's not and that does have an effect on the overall feel of the roof and what goes on behind the cab. Um, so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to draw a sketch not on the surface that we've just put these recesses on but on the, the flat inner surface at the rear here or back surface. And we're using a, a new component as well. So let's start off by creating a new component. We'll name that tab A. So that new component part, make sure the radio button is checked so we're working on that. We're going to start with creating a sketch of the rear surface of the chassis that we've drawn. Use the, the line tool. I'm just going to sort of trace out around the cab shape. Something like this. And the cab goes to there. I'm going to start from the other end because the cab at the engine actually comes pretty much up to the roof. So we start from this point, go vertical, we come to the roof line. And let's go all the way up to the top. Come across. So we've got that basic outline shape, and we're going to extrude this, and it's going to come across to the edge here, so we check it. It actually comes slightly beyond it, so we'll drag that out. Okay, you can see how the width is slightly different. So we come across. straighten that up, that bottom edge, that's probably be okay there. Okay, it's creating a new body, which is absolutely fine, that's what we're after. And turn those slits off. It looks a bit weird to start with, but it will make more sense why we've done it this shape in a second. Okay, so if we now look at the inside pictures of the cab end, we'll find one that we should have come after. So this cab door sits at an angle. So what I'm going to draw is there'll be a shape at an angle from the back of the cab here. I'm going to be drawing on the top surface. So I'm just going to drag that angle in. How far that is? Maybe 18 inches. We just drag this in like this. Find distance from that point to the edge. That's about three millimeters. It's difficult to judge how wide that door is and sort of the angle that it's going to be at. If we just form it all there. Probably a bit more of an angle because looking at that, it comes down a different place. It's going to be quite a thin pretty thin there. Small doorway, some beetles. 
Okay, so we've got that diagonal coming across, and then this comes pretty much straight all the way to the end. Okay. I wonder if maybe we can do something on the side for those bars. Turn these off and see if we've got the check wires. You know, it's, it doesn't look spectacular, but once we start to cut the roof out, I think the top part will make more sense. Height wise, that might be quite tall there. I'm a little concerned about whether that looks right. Probably only going to come to this point here. So I'm going to just extrude that top surface. about there the roof will sit over the top of it. And it's going to go on this side profile. So we want that part to be level with this. So what we can do is sketch the project that line and go in and use that on these. told you it's complicated shapes we might actually have to take some more of this off when we go to put the roof on so that the roof sits flush that's probably what's going to happen So the roof has an area flush that it can sit in. Okay, so that's the basic cab front sort of shape drawn. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to hollow this out. So I'm going to create a sketch on the bottom surface. A shell first of all. Shell up in a millimetre. Good tangent off. Let's 
find herbal food to water again, sketch my surface, create a line. Essentially followed out the back. What I don't want is this to follow the through. That's the dot there. I have to push through the back of the fence. Should have been recorded. So the next one I do is draw this cap window on the side here. And it creates a line at the top of the edge. Down here. And then it should escape from there. And then draw a line down here, down from this edge first of all. I want to be perpendicular to the front face. Okay, so let's put some dimensions in here. From the top edge, let's go 0 0.6 millimeters. From the front edge, it's a little bit more. Looking at the pictures, there's a bit more gap between there and there. It might just be how it looks, but 0 0.8, I think. Okay, looking at the, again, looking at the window, we've got curved edges on the side here, so we can add those in. Use the fillet tool and these two bottom edges. Or you shift down to the bottom there for them. Going to be a 0 0.75, I'm a little happy with that. Combine that down there. Once we've got that, we can draw in the vector attraction to the center of the six millimeters. Line this down to the edge. And then we can extrude these two window faces in the same shape that we had seen underneath. And if I actually cut that out. Uh, okay, so looking at this, we can see how we've got these faces. That's because the shell's not big enough. So we can go edit the feature and let's change the shell to 0 0.6 millimeters. That should fix that issue because that's a 0.6 millimeter gap there. If I have a slight lip on the front, that's fine. And the thickness of 0.6 should be okay. Okay, so the next one I'll do is draw the front window on. So if we just rotate this around, let's have a look. Uh, make sure the cab is highlighted and the canvas in front. So you can see the window is not particularly straight where we want it on the, the sketch uh, but looking at the picture here you can see it's a reasonable distance from the side 
top level looks the same, bottom level maybe a little bit lower than the window here, and it's just a small frame window in the middle. So that should be pretty easy to draw on. Um, turn this canvas back off. What we don't want to do is just draw flat on this surface because then when we extrude, we'll end up with the, the extrusion going up at an angle. We want it to go um, perpendicular to the face. So we'll create an offset plane from the front face there. Let's just rotate this around. And we're going to drag this beyond the front of the model itself. Okay, so we're going to create a sketch onto that offset plane and I've got to project using the P button, that top point and the bottom point so we know the height of the windows. Okay, so we're going to use a, a rectangle tool and we're going to create in line with the top and down in line with the bottom. Okay, and then we do we can define that height, but it's it's gonna be the same as the, the other window. Same with this one. I'm gonna do uh, 0 point um, go 0 0.8 there and across the middle. I'm gonna go for 0 0.4, <coughs> which will make 0 0.4 on the other side when we mirror across. And as we said, we want the bottom edge looks like it's slightly lower than this window. So we can define that length. So that's the height of the other window. So if we go, so maybe 5.3, that'll put it slightly lower than that one. Um, okay, so is there any curved edges on the window to do? The tops are 90 degree rectangles, bottoms are curved. So we can put those fillets on the corner here. Yeah. Hold shift so that we can select that one there as well. Has a budget in mind. So we'll change that to a one millimeter and I'll thumb them both. That's fine. Put a one millimeter radius on that bottom. Okay, and then what we can do is extrude that sketch back into the model. Make sure it's cutting. Okay, and you can see by doing that we've now got flat surfaces here, not ones that are perpendicular to the model itself. Um, I'm going to take out this top part here as well. So that this is only going to be 0 0.6. So let's create a sketch on this side. That can come across. I want it, the line to be perpendicular to Sorry, parallel to that front edge. Like that, and the distance between them to be 0.6. Okay, then we'll take off this extra bit there in the middle. So then the window frames are all going to be sort of the same sort of size there. I'm not too worried about this extra bit on the bottom here, that's fine. Okay, so that's the basic window drawn. The next thing we'll do is we're going to add this door into the side here. So the door height is pretty much on the top of the body here. Probably at six inches in and it's slightly above the base. So we're just going to create a sketch onto that side surface. Use a rectangle, select that top height so we know the height position. And then we'll go across. I don't want it to snap at the bottom or the right hand side, so I'll just drag that in this clothing. Okay, dimension here on that edge. I'll go to 0.5 millimeters. We'll vertically constrain, so I horizontally constrain that top edge. We'll find the height there 12.75. Pretty much. I'm just going to make that a little bit wide on the door. So it's 2.4. More than that. 2.5. Yeah, so 
longer 3.5 millimeters. <clears throat> okay, I'm happy with the dimension there, so we're just going to make this protrude out maybe 0 0.2 millimeters. Sticks out slightly like this one does. Okay, and then we look at the windows, the same height as the side window. So again, we're going to create a sketch onto the door and then we're going to project on the height points of those windows so that it then will allow us to select the height there and there. So we know that's going to match. Okay, curved edges all the way around, so we'll fillet those off. I'm holding control now to get all these corners in. And we'll do a 0 0.5 mil. Let's try not to say 5 mil. 0 0.7 micro mil radius on all those edges. And then we can define the width of it. 0.75. Five point one because it matches this. Height wide should be zero point six. It matches that. And so one point five. So we're going to have one point two five extra. Find that as one point two five. On there. Width is 3.5. Mine is actually there. My mass is completely wrong. It was 0.75. Okay, quite right. There we go. <clears throat> That's the midpoint. And then we can extrude this all the way through the side. So cut. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this episode here. And, you know, we've got a good start on the body now. Quite a bit of that done. So please subscribe and make sure you come back for the next episode. Thanks for watching.